Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, make tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I get you covered. Um, if you're new here, I often do reviews on Jones Road. It's one of my favorite brands and I'm fortunate enough to have some products sent to me to do reviews. So just want to say that first um, and if this is a video that you enjoy if you enjoy my content it would mean the world to me if you subscribed liked uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading I typically upload three times a week and yeah let's get started all right I'm very excited to make this video today because I'm going to be sharing with you the new lip and cheek sticks from Jones Road it was launched today, hopefully I upload this today, um, September 9th. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. So they just launched these lip and cheek colors in stick form. This is what it looks like. I have all eight shades. I will have swatches for you. I'm going to put them on. Let me quickly brief you on the product. It, it does retail for $34. It is meant to be used on your lips, your cheeks. You can use it on your eye for like a monochromatic look. They are very lightweight. It can be sheer or it could be layered on for more pigmentation. All right, with that being said, let's cut into some swatches and when we get back, we're just going to put some on my cheek. First up is Tony Nude. Next is Rosie Brown. English Rose, Bright Pink, Royal Plum, Chocolate Mocha, Mauve Rose, and Bright Coral. And here they are. All right, so you see the swatches, definitely buildable, very creamy. Uh, very lightweight. The finish, I would say, is it's not overly dewy, but you're going to have a glow. Now, if you're familiar with the Miracle Balm, it's not as dewy or glowy as the Miracle Balm. It's not as um, rich as the Miracle Balm, but it still is very hydrating. Now, I've been playing with these all day. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I swatched a few. I did a demo where I was trying everything on, so I have tried these, I have played with them, I love it. Um, one thing I will say too is if you follow me, you know that I hate, <laughs> hate is a strong word, I don't like to use um, like lips, uh, lipstick or lip products really. I prefer something more balmy and I've been enjoying using these on my lips. They feel amazing, it feels lightweight and there's no like weird taste just wanted to say that and of course as a blush it's absolutely beautiful so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do one color on one cheek another color on the other cheek so we kind of tackle two at a time because there are eight shades so I'm going to start off with rosy brown so it comes in a stick form just like this and I'm gonna start to apply to my cheek So see how I put it on this way and I'm layering it on, you could see the color. And then once you start to blend it out, it really does blend out into the cheek. It's very seamless. Just like that. Now, of course, once you blend it out, it does start to shear the color out a little bit. So if you like a lighter kind of application of blush, you're really going to enjoy this. But you can always go back and layer. So that's the second layer. Very, very hydrating. I love that. I'm going to quickly put it on my lips. Now this color is kind of close to my lip color. So it's not, you're not really going to see the pigment there because it almost blends into my lips nice. Um, so that's that for the lip, and you could see that it's not heavy. It's almost like, almost like a balm. It's not greasy or anything. Pretty color. It matches with my lips very nicely. On this cheek, I'm going to do bright coral. This is a pretty color. 
it is very vibrant so so even though it's vibrant because it's sheer at first it'll blend out nicely so you have a pretty kind of flush but you can continue to layer it to give you a little bit more of an intense color well intense ish that's bright coral I'm gonna use it on my lips See, pretty nice, sheer, but it is buildable. All right, in between applications, I'm just putting on some foundation to tone it down. This way I'm not constantly rubbing my face. Otherwise, my cheeks are going to be red and you're not really going to see the blush. All right, next up on this side, I'm going to do Royal Plum. This is a gorgeous color for... Um, like for the fall, I think it will work really beautiful along all skin tones. Um, it's a good one. But if you're fair skin, just go with a lighter hand because it is, it's nice and bright. So I'm going to take this one. This color reminds me of like if I'm outside and it's cold or I just went like for a nice little run, that nice beautiful flush. And that's what I'm saying, if you are fair skin and you put it on, just put it on light and it's going to give you that really, really beautiful glow. So that's Royal Plum. I'm going to get it on my lips. Pretty. Alright, next up is a Mauve Rose. This is a very sort of nude kind of blush on me. So I do have to layer it a bit. I think on somebody who's fair skin, light skin, it's going to really pop. It's going to look nice. Um, on me, it is sort of a warm kind of nude. You can still see it though. Put on my lips. Very subtle on my lips, but again. Fair skin people, I think you're going to love it a lot. Alright, next up is English Rose. This is another really pretty color. Um, it's very subtle on my skin tone. I do have more color on myself now. But again, I think this is going to be another shade that's going to be really good for somebody who's uh, light, light medium skin tone. But we'll see. You'll see how it shows up on my skin tone. You can see it. You can definitely see it. Again, subtle, but still really, really pretty. Um, if you're somebody who likes pinks and mauve tones, um, this is going to be really good, like, everyday color. And then on my lips. It turns a little, like, bluish pink on my lips because of the undertone, but very nice. On this side... I'm going to use bright pink. This color surprised me. I'm not going to lie. I saw it and I was like, ooh, that's, that's pretty bright. Um, it's really beautiful. Really beautiful. This is like a color you put on that like wakes up your face. And I mean that in a good way. Like nice, really pretty flush of color. See how that kind of woke up my cheek? Like my face looks like, ooh, you know? Uh, let me put it on my lips. really pretty. This I think would work with uh, different skin tones, definitely on fair skin, on my kind of skin, medium skin, probably even tan to give it like a nice pop. All right, and last but not least, two colors. I know they're going to look similar to you, but they are different, I promise you. <laughs> the first one is going to be Tawny Nude. This one is so pretty. This is going to work really nice on medium skin tones, tan skin tones, um, possibly even deeper skin tones. Um, again, nice and sheer. Really pretty. It has a nice, like, uh, a little bit of a reddish undertone. So it's very beautiful. I'm going to take it and put it on this cheek. It's definitely a nice, warm color.
And I know somebody's gonna ask me, are these sticky? Do they dry down? Um, they don't dry down completely, but they are very hydrating. Um, I don't think they're that sticky, but I'm on the dry side. So I have to <laughs> make that known because I'm drier. My skin appreciates a little extra moisture. If you're on the oily side, um, you may feel it a little bit like a little bit heavy. Not, I wouldn't say heavy, but you, you're going to feel a little bit, especially if you're oily. But I think now that we're transitioning into the fall, I think you're going to appreciate the formula. So that's nude. I'm sorry, tawny nude. Put it on my lips. This color is so pretty. Like this, this is like ready for fall. And last but not least, chocolate mocha. Really pretty. This one has more of a brown undertone versus a tawny nude that just has like that bit of red in it. Um, these two colors remind me of when you have like that sun-kissed look. So pretty. And you can see that this one just has a little bit more red undertone versus this one. That's, it's like a true, like kind of like a milk chocolate, but with like a softer reddish brown, but more brown, if that makes sense. This is giving me like 90s vibes because it's like a brown color. And again, perfect for fall. So now these are so nice. I am obsessed with the formula. Um, I think they feel really good. Now I've been applying these all day and taking them off and applying them and like my skin hasn't gotten irritated or anything. My skin actually feels nice and like soft. My lips too are not like beat up or anything because again I've been applying it, taking it off, applying it, taking it off because I've been doing swatches and everything. My lips feel really good and I do like that. Um, like I said, they don't have a funny taste. They don't feel heavy. I don't feel like I have anything on my lips. I would say I feel more like I have a hydrating lip balm and because the colors are sheer, especially the lighter colors, the ones that I said would be good for like fair skin, um, the, they don't show up too much on my lips because I have a lot of pigment to my lips, but they're still nice and they, they offer like a sheer like veil of color. Now the deeper uh, tones actually do pop on my lip really nicely and I do like that. And as far as the colors go, like blush, I personally feel like I can wear almost any color here. The only ones that I've had a little bit of trouble, like not trouble, but they don't show up as much are like, um, which is the one that's definitely not royal plum english rose kind of you see it but you kind of don't see it um i do recommend that if you do put these on if your cheeks are red definitely like use a foundation or concealer just to kind of even out your skin because if you don't and you put it on bare skin you may not see the color as you want to see it I would definitely just tone down some of the redness that's the issue that I had because I do have redness to my face um, but once I kind of neutralized everything and put the blush on you were able to see it I can see it so this is the kind of finish that you have now I do have bright lights here so that's why it looks a little bit extra like glow but you are left with a nice glowy finish and um, yeah I am upset I'm so happy about this because you guys know I love blush it's like my favorite thing and the fact that these double as a like lip color and I don't feel it on I love it I'm actually wearing lip colors now so if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below I hope you guys are having an amazing day and if you have any questions or comments feel free to hit me up here or on Instagram at at Anna Ruchinski. All right. Have a good evening. Bye.